Theta. T15. So today I was gonna vlog about my day. Um, there was like some exciting things that happened today, but I couldn't help but thinking about my dear friend Anthony A. Kaiser the second. Anthony, miss you. There's so many things I would like to tell you. And I know that you're proud of me, but I can't help but miss you. I can't help it. You were a true friend. A true friend. There are many, many people that he knew. Um, but our relationship that we had was so different. And he would just say things and encourage me to just keep doing what I'm doing like even to this day I still feel his spirit near so I wrote a poem for him um, I actually said it at his memorial service um, back in July so I'm gonna read it again and um, yeah we will see each other again, is the last few words you said. You and I didn't know that it would be the last phone conversations filled with laughter and plans of church conventions, services, and meeting new people. Anthony, you knew everyone and almost everything, so I listened to your words of wisdom and even took notes. You told me to learn a lot of hymns join the choirs, sing your solos with clarity and conviction, and continue to make divine connections and to always glorify God. You checked on me often to make sure that I was indeed saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit, and not just the ghosts. Now, I know why, because you want to see me and all your loving friends and family up in heaven with you. That was just the poem that I wrote for the memorial service. And um, I'm gonna show a clip of his speech that he had said on this very day last year, April 15, 2018 is when he said his speech and the last words he said was, we will see each other again. Check it out. Hi. Hi. I'm about to cry. Oh, Lord. Oh. This is my friend from, oh, she about to pass out. <laughs> we have been friends for over 20 years. Amen. And we're going to keep it at, we're over 20 years. Oh for the rest of our lives, only over 20 years, <laughs> amen. But I've known her since the third grade. Um, <laughs> and I remember her mom the most um, because her mom reminded me of my mom. They were similar type of people. Um, they always looked like church, in and out of church all the time. <laughs> and therefore we as kids always looked like church in and inside <laughs> church all the time. <laughs> Um, thankfully, we went to Ben Franklin, which was an academic prep school, so that helped. Um, you have been a very interesting friend. Um, <laughs> and I say that because you were different when I met you. You were different. You're different today. Um, you're not like any specific person that I know. Um, 
when we were younger, you were kind of shy. Um, now that we are older, uh, and I'm older than her, um, and I say that so that way, it, it by, it's by enough, it's by enough. It's by enough that I still get the last word. So, oh God. I'm older. Amen, I'm older, right. older. And this is on videotape, remember, I'm older. <laughs> Amen. And maybe we can change thought. Okay, so you've been different and you're different today. What, you were shy when I met you. Today, that is a total different story. Um, and I say that because even a couple years ago, if you would be in a service with Bernie, she would want to go talk to somebody and wouldn't do it. You'd have to almost push her to go do it. Now, we went to a conference last year, and she's talking to people who are famous folks, recording artists. Yep. Going to talk to them, have a whole long conversation while we're trying to leave, mm -hmm. then has the nerve to have me take out my phone to take a picture. Right. Yep. Total different person than, um, than I knew in third grade. And I think that's wonderful because it has shown how much that she has grown, Amen. how much she has matured. Yeah. Um, even our conversations get longer, but they get um, to the point where they are more of substance. Um, we have very interesting conversations about church. We're both church kids, so you've seen everything in church. You've watched, mimic, and played um, church people. Um, but you also can talk about the goodness of the Lord. And with all of my older friends, I can't say that. Um, one thing about us, we are blessed with having long relationships with people. Um, but we're not, we're not always able to say that everybody knows Jesus. And as old as we are, we both know classmates that have gone on, that have died. One thing I can say is that I know if something were to happen to either one of us, we're going to see each other again. Amen. And I appreciate that. Um, so much. So the good thing about Anthony was he was very detail oriented. So he knew exactly how many years we've been friends. I knew it was just over 20 years of friendship. Um, we knew each other since third grade. Definitely, um, he did write a post um, last year on this day and it came up on my Facebook memories. Yes, I was boohoo crying when it did. But um, it says, my father in the gospel, the late Bishop Stanley H. Scott said to me, my son, in life you have many associates, but very few friends. I took his words to heart and value true friends. I believe if you're going to invest time, you need to make sure it's with a quality person, someone who is steady, unwavering, a person who knows God. So today I pause to celebrate to, so today I was paused to celebrate my friend of 23 years hashtag great friendship hashtag love to life hashtag lifelong um, so I just wanted to just encourage anyone that has lost a loved one or you know even just the life that we live let it speak for us. Truly, Anthony's life spoke for him. He was only 30 years old and he did so much in those years. Even from a young kid, he was always known as like the preacher and everyone knew him as such. Even me, like, you know what I mean? Like we grew up and, I, you know, I was always that church girl, but we were like church buddies. And we would go to church and we would, you know, with the, especially with our moms being so, you know, in the church. Like, we kept that bond because of us being in the church. So, I encourage you to find a friend, a true friend, and, and really mm -hmm. glean from that person and know that person for who they are, the life that they live. Know your friends, know the life that they live. Except to walk together, except they agreed. That's from Amos three and three. And that's exactly the kind of friendship that you need. Um, Anthony was known for so many things and he did a lot for people. Like he would go above and beyond for almost everyone that he knew and um 
definitely he is greatly missed greatly greatly missed um and this is in memory of you earlier said that um, you told me that I, I could get you next week so I tore up my check Ooh. that's what you said no. and I will get you next week 